Hello friends, you are watching C Programming Tutorial Classes brought to you by AngPro Training. So now we will understand the switch case. So switch case is a uh, very useful and interesting uh, control structure in C language. So it is apparently uh, looks same as the LCF ladder but it is very useful in some sort of situations. Let us go and find out uh, when it is useful and what it is. So switch case is like check for the match and execute a block. Right? It is like switching between the multiple uh, values. So first we will go and match a given value with the defined value. If the match is there then we'll execute a block of code. So the switch case is like check for the match and execute a block. So we give a value to a variable to match with the existing values. The switch statement tests the value of a given variable against the list of existing case values. So we'll understand, we'll understand it better in the examples. When a match is found, a block of statements associated with that case is executed. So here is the syntax and structure of switch case. So switch is a keyword, you must have that word as it is in the lower case, followed by the variable inside a parenthesis. And when we open the switch structure, uh, so we put the case, the keyword case followed by a value, a constant value which may be a character or an integer. Okay? And we'll put the colon, the symbol colon followed by one or more statements which are going to be executed when the variable matches with the value 1. So all these statements are ended using the semicolon all these statements are ended by a semicolon at, at last at, after all the statements we'll put a break so break is a keyword uh, which stops the execution for this particular block and skip and skip the entire code and it brings the control out of the switch structure right so if the value 1 is not match is not when the value 1 is not matched with the variable given, then we go and check for the match with the value number 2. So, so same thing happens here if the match is found, if the variable is same as value 2, then one or more statements given here are executed and when the control encounters the break statement, it skips the all the other statements and comes out of the switch structure. So if the match is not found it go and find out the match in the next case value. So same thing happens. If none of the values are matched up with the variables then a default set of statements are put below the below the all the other case values and this is going to be executed definitely and for sure when no match is found in the above. So this is how the switch structure looks like. Now let's go and do some programs on switch case and we'll understand it better. So friends, to demonstrate the switch case structure, I'll be writing the program that checks the given number and tells you back what the number uh, that was. Assume that you have entered 1, so it should tell it is 1 or you have if you have entered 2 you should tell it is 2 so it will be a simple one just to understand for that I'll I'll just need a single variable n so here I'll tell the user to enter a number between 1 and 4 right so I'll tell enter a number between 1 and 4 and now I'll start uh, the switch structure. So first write the switch keyword uh, with a pair of brackets having uh, the, the variable inside which we are going to use to check with the various switch cases. right? So inside this block, this is the switch block. right? Now start writing the case values. Case number 1 so if the input value is 1, if we are checking the input value with 1, case 1 will be like this. 
So one is the case value. Here the case value lies. So this will be matched. So n will be matched with the one, right? If it is true, put a colon and start writing the block of uh, any number of statements which will be executed when the match is found, right? I'll just enter single printf statement. It is one, right? And I will put the and I will put the break statement here. Case two. It is two. So like this, I'll be having different case values and I'm going to check the input and number which is stored in n uh, with all these case values. Whenever the match is found, a particular block of code associated with that case will be executed and breaks the execution at that point and skip the entire upcoming cases. Right? Say suppose I've stored 2 in the variable n, so n will be matched up with the case 1. So 2 is not matching with 1, so this is skipped. 2 here, yes, 2 is match found here. So for match 2, so match for 2 is found here, so this will be executed and a uh, compiler encounters the break statement, so the entire code after the break will be skipped and the control goes to the uh, code which is outside the block right so in the default uh, we will put the message or we will put the code which will be executed when none of the above statements is uh, true or none of the above statements are executed right so I'll say not a valid number right break so this is the structure of if So this is how it looks. Let's run this program and check. So here it is asking me enter a number between 1 and 4. Okay. It is 3. That's fine. It is 1. So let's say 7. Not a valid number. Right. So I have to input a number between 1 and 4 because I have just 4 cases to check here. Right, the default will be executed when no cases are uh, matched with the in input and number. Right, so this is how it works. So it, we can do many more programs where you have to match the input value with the predefined value and execute a set of statements. So break is a keyword we have used many times in switch statements. Right, so we normally use this break statement in switch structure. We can also use this in uh, if if else else if ladder, but normally break is useful when we want to stop the execution and skip the end, skip the code followed by it. So this is normally useful in looping statements, which will be covered in the later classes. So it is a keyword that breaks out of the code block. In this case, break prevents the program execution. In this case, break prevents the program executing the code in all the other case statements. So when we use this break statement in the case switch case structure, uh, it prevents the program executing the code in all the other case statements which are followed uh, that break statement. An important thing to note about switch statement is that case values may only be constant integral expressions. They must be integers or characters. Only integers and characters are allowed. Well friends, that's it for the class. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube. Like our page on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.